Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, how to configure multiple filters. Uh, in the left side you can see the client. Uh, the client sends a request to the hello world servlet. Okay. Uh, before uh, request goes to the hello world servlet, first it will go to the uh, lock filter. Okay. What this uh, lock filter does is uh, it will lock the IP address of the client machine and the current time. Okay. Then uh, it will uh, forward the request to the uh, next resource in the chain which is nothing but the authentication filter then uh, what this authentication filter will do is it will check uh, the username and password which uh, client enter in the login page is proper or not if it is proper then it will forward the request to the hello world servlet uh, which is the next resource in the chain what this hello world servlet will do is it will uh, process the request send the response back to the client before response uh, reach to the client First, it will go to the authentication filter. Okay, then uh, the response go to the lock filter. Then it, uh, response go to the client. Okay. Uh, suppose say uh, the username and password which user enter is uh, wrong. Then what this authentication filter will do is it won't send a request to the hello world servlet. Uh, what it will do is uh, it will say okay uh, the user is not authorized, uh, so you can't. Uh, uh, go to the hello world servlet so it will send a response back to the uh, client okay saying uh, the uh, uh, username and password is uh, not correct so unauthorized to access the uh, hello world servlet okay uh, we have to do this uh, filter configuration in web.xml okay i will open web.xml and i will show you how uh, uh, i have configured uh, so here is the web.xml uh, for the URL pattern hello, I have configured uh, hello world servlet. Okay, and for the same URL pattern hello, I have configured lock filter and uh, authentication filter. Okay, uh, so as per uh, this uh, diagram, first I want to execute uh, lock filter, then authentication filter, right? Uh, so I configured uh, lock filter first. Okay, then I configured uh, authentication filter. Okay. Suppose uh, I want to send a request to the authentication filter first, then lock filter means what I have to do is I have to change the order in the web.xml like this. Okay, first I have to put the authentication filter. Okay, then I have to put the lock filter. So, so in this case, I don't want to do this one. I want to uh, send request to the lock filter first, then authentication filter, right? So I have to put uh, lock filter first then uh, authentication filter okay so the servlet container will uh, execute the filter in the order specified in the web.xml file okay uh, to explain how to configure uh, multiple filters uh, i have created this uh, multiple filters uh, demo project so i already explained how to configure uh, filters in the web.xml uh, now we will see what is there in the lock filter.java and authentication filter.java and uh, hello world uh, servlet.java okay first i will explain uh, lock filter.java so this uh, lock filter class uh, implements uh, filter interface and it has uh, three methods the first method is init uh, this method will be called by the servlet container uh, to initialize this uh, lock filter okay and uh, it has uh, do filter method uh, this method will be called by the servlet container uh, to filter the request okay and uh, here uh, what we are doing is uh, uh, we are getting the remote uh, client ip address and uh, just logging the ip address uh, then we are passing the request to the next uh, resource in the chain okay and uh, it has uh, another method called uh, destroy uh, this method will be called by the servlet container to take this uh, lock filter out of service okay and uh, here you can add code related to uh, release uh, any resources okay uh, so next uh, we have uh, authentication filter.java and uh, that authentication filter class implements a filter interface and it has uh, three methods the first method is init so this method will be called by the uh, servlet container to initialize this uh, authentication filter 
and it has uh, do filter method here uh, what we are doing is uh, we are getting the username and password uh, from the login page uh, if uh, username and password is uh, correct uh, then uh, it will pass the request to the next resource in the chain okay if uh, the username and password is not correct uh, what we are doing is uh, we are telling uh, the request is not authorized and we are redirecting the request to the uh, index.html so index.html is nothing but a login page okay and uh, it has uh, destroy method uh, this method will be called by the servlet container uh, to take uh, this authentication filter out of service okay and uh, next one is uh, hello world uh, servlet.java this uh, hello world servlet class implements http servlet and it has init method uh, this method will be called by the servlet container to initialize this uh, servlet and uh, it has uh, do get method so this method will uh, receive the request and process the request and send the response back to the client so here what we are doing is uh, we are uh, just printing the hello world okay uh, so we are getting the print writer object from the response uh, object then using that uh, we are printing hello world okay and uh, it has a destroy method this method will be called by the servlet container to remove this uh, hello world servlet uh, out of service okay uh, next we will see the index.html uh, it has uh, username and password uh, text field uh, and it has a submit button so once you submit uh, it will send request to the server and the action will be hello okay Uh, now I will deploy the project in uh, Tomcat uh, server then I will show you the output okay so first I will uh, compile this project then I will uh, export this uh, project as a war file and uh, I am placing inside the Tomcat uh, web apps folder okay now I am going to start the server Uh, server has been uh, started and you can see uh, the lock filter and the authentication filter has been initialized by the uh, servlet container okay uh, now I am going to access the web application using this uh, URL I am clicking on enter and uh, it shows uh, index.html content which is nothing but a welcome page so here I am entering uh, username and password I'm going to enter uh, correct username password which is uh, ram and password is also ram i'm clicking uh, login and it shows hello world okay so i'll show you the log so you can see uh, so first uh, when request goes to the server uh, the hello world server is initialized uh, then before uh, uh, the servlet container call the hello world servlet it uh, first call the uh, do filter method of uh, lock filter okay and uh, in the lock filter what we are doing is we are uh, logging the ip address of the client and the current time then uh, the request goes to the uh, next resource uh, that is nothing but a authentication filter so in authentication filter uh, uh, we are checking uh, the username and password is right or not if it is correct then uh, we are forwarding to the hello world servlet then hello world servlet uh, uh, will receive the request and uh, it process the request and it display hello world in the browser okay that is what uh, you are seeing here uh, suppose uh, if i give a wrong username and password okay then we will see what happens so i am giving uh, Dave and Dave so this is wrong username and password right so when I click this uh, login button it shows again uh, the login page okay so you'll see what happens in the back end so you can see first uh, it goes to the lock filter and uh, lock filter uh, uh, lock the IP address of the machine and uh, IP address of the client machine and the current time then it called the authentication filter so what authentication filter uh, does is it will check the username and password 
so the username and password combination is wrong so it says uh, unauthorized request and uh, it redirect to the same uh, index.html and uh, we are seeing the index.html uh, here okay so it is showing the same uh, login page it won't allow uh, the request to go to the hello world servlet okay and uh, this is about how to configure uh, multiple filters and thanks for watching bye